personal fit. Today we have a lunch crunch class and we're going to focus on the core. And uh, if you're like me, I have some low back pain. I had an injury years ago and uh, vertebrae issue. And uh, man, I know a lot of people struggle with, with low back pain. It's muscular, skeletal, uh, and you sit down a lot maybe at, at, at work. So today's routine, uh, my back is a little flared up today. So we're going to do some moves. Um, that in most cases, very low impact on the back. Now we do have some bicycle kicks. We have a subtle lemon squeeze, uh, but a lot of these movements I think would, would work well, even if the back was acting up just a little bit, okay? So um, let me run through what we're gonna do today. It's two rounds, and we're gonna start with a bridge hold. So uh, I really like these. We're gonna engage the posterior chain, but. Can I get those erectors and those glutes and hamstrings all working together? Lower back, as you probably know, is very closely related to the hamstring, so it's that whole posterior backside. So that's a good movement to kind of get things kind of warmed up and, and, and ready to go. Uh, the next one, we're going to do some subtle bicycle kicks. Now, if your back's really bad, that might not work well, but we're going to go through some bicycle kicks after these bridge holds, slow and controlled. After that, we're gonna cross one leg over and we're just gonna do a little crunch and then cross. And again, these twisting motions, slow and under control. Okay, we're trying to tie those obliques without aggravating the back. Then we're gonna to go to a subtle lemon squeeze. We're not gonna extend out very far. We're staying pretty tight so that lower back stays nice and flat on the, on the mat. Then we're gonna do a, a four phase, what, what I call a rocky. Uh, uh, this great little exercise that I started doing, my gosh, years and years ago, and I really haven't seen the ones really do it, but anyways, it's a crunch, and then side, side under control, and then we finish with another little crunch. Now the only downside is, people wanna pull their head. Don't pull the head on this, let the core do all the work. Uh, then we're gonna finish with some subtle back extensions with just a little pause, just to work those erectors just a little more directly. Again, very limited range of motion, we don't wanna aggravate the back, we just wanna strengthen the back, all right? Here we go, guys, let's start off, I'm gonna lay back, we're gonna start with our bridge, Holds, uh, you probably want a mat here. And again, my pain is, it's in the lower portion. Um, it's the bottom of the middle back. That's where the vertebrae is. Uh, but, you know, if you have lower back pain, this is a pretty good exercise. Okay, so bridge holds. So we're here, I'm going to just press up and hold, try to get those hips up for a three count, and we're back down, and then up. 15 of these. Okay, we got five more. Okay, this is my last one. If you pace with me, this is 15, 2, 3. Come down. Hopefully, the back feels like it kind of got warmed up a little bit. Um, we're gonna go bicycle kicks now, about 25 each way. Okay, so hands are behind the headroom, don't extend too far out. So I'm gonna stay kind of tight here. So I don't want to aggravate the back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't pull the head. Eight, Okay, so that should have got the core a little more awake, right? So now, let's pin that lower back down. We're across one leg over the other, and we're gonna do a, a two count movement here. All right, so again, watch the head. Don't pull the head. Just wanna come up and a little twist, one. Again, watch it back, it's tender, two, So 
squeeze the core and squeeze again. 15 and 20. Twenty. There's eighteen. Twenty. Excellent. Really feeling that core starting to engage here. Uh, let's go the other way. Those are good. Low impact on the back, high impact on the abs and obliques, right? Uh, next one is, is, a, is a lemon squeeze, okay? Again, uh, especially if, you know, we're kind of talking about lower back today or, or, or even mid back, if there's some pain in there, um, don't extend too far on these lemon squeezes. So we're going to come up and I'm just going to crunch in and back. So I'm not trying to extend out, which is going to arch my lower back and, and maybe cause a little more strain back there. So. We're just here to 15 to 20 of these three. job excellent okay legs are down now and we're gonna do um, some Rockies it's a four phase movement and uh, again watch the head please don't pull on that neck let the core do the work so this one's up then side side up again all right so here we go again pin that lower back down up side side you want to get 15 of these And just watch on that second crunch, just try not to pull too high. You may feel the back a little bit, so just, just try to tighten the core. So it's up, side, side, tighten the core. Those wow to be burned. It's like a <laughs> feels like a big U right there, right? Right in the diaphragm and coming down the obliques a little bit. So wow. Okay, now this one you have to be a little more tender with. So we're gonna roll over and we're gonna do just a back extension. Okay. Um, all we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the feet down, cross the hands, one on top of the other, put your chin down, keep the head fairly neutral. And all I want to do is just gonna lift up slightly, one, two, and pause at the top for our just, just a one count. Okay, just a slight pause up there. All right, fifteen to twenty. Two, three. 
excellent. So the range of motion again isn't much for just trying to tight, feel those muscles tight, leg a little bit, and then come down. Up, pause with tightness, good. Fifteen of those guys. I think I'm gonna roll over here, and we're gonna go back to the top. Let's go through one more round of this. Okay, so the bridge holds. Here we go. Oh, sorry, guys. All right, here we go. Just a couple more. Fourteen, two, three, and up. One, two, three. Excellent. Okay, let's go right into those bicycle kicks. Remember, controlled movement. Don't go too quickly. Don't extend too far out. Here we go. One, two, three, four, Okay, we're gonna do crunch cross. Okay, 15 and 20. We did 20 last time, so we're gonna go try to shoot for that again. But match your fitness level here and don't pull the head. reps coming this way. In my case it's 20 and here we go.
four here. Great. All right. Whew. Okay, next one. We've got a linen squeeze. Okay. Remember, don't extend too far out again on this one. Yeah. 15 to 20. set those down. Uh, the next one, gosh, we're already back to Rockies, okay? So hopefully, the, if, if you're having some back issues, and obviously you can do this workout on back issues, but hopefully it's warmed up right now. So maybe it's feeling maybe a little bit better. You're kind of moving around a little bit. Uh, about 15 of these Rockies. extensions. We'll get about 15 and we'll pause a little at the top. <clears throat> Here we go. Small range of motion if you remember. Here we go. Okay, that was 15. That was our second round through. So that was our lunch crunch core conditioning class. Great to keep that core strong. And, and even just maybe a little more cautious through these movements uh, in case you have maybe little tweaks in your back, okay? So this will help keep that core strong. You guys keep up with it. Hope you enjoy the routine. This is Lee Fitness, bringing wellness.